What's going on guys? My name is Mr. Hurricane and today I'm here to share with you guys another look at Madden NFL 25 with what is basically an extension off of the run free trailer. EA is posting playbooks showing all the different additions to Madden NFL 25 and this one here in particular is the first one where Trey Wingo and Doug Martin are talking about the new ball carrier control in Madden NFL 25 and I'm chopping up the trailer right here to show you only the gameplay. I'm going to loop the gameplay so you can see it and then I'm going to when I'm done talking I'll show you the entire trailer with audio and everything. But basically what we know about Madden 25 so far is that they've given a big focus to running the football and what you can do as a ball carrier. They've changed it, they say, from 8 moves to 35 plus moves and combinations. And the entire goal behind that is to make the player feel like they're more in control of the running back. And overall, I do like this addition. I'm just very surprised that this was their main thing they're hyping for this year's game. That was my only issue at first, but I do like the control. I thought Madden 12 had very good control of the running back. I was very, I love using the right stick and running the ball in Madden 12. However, in Madden 13, it wasn't as much fun, I guess, playing because I didn't like how NCAA and Madden now had that really slow juking animation where the player would basically leap off of the ground with both feet. And I'm just like, why is this in the game? But I'm hoping that this brings up um, really cool sequences you can do with your players. I'm just hoping that this has balance and it's not going to be crazy because we have to think about this logically, guys. Running backs in the NFL average four to five yards a carry, and they don't get that by busting off crazy jukes and spins and combination on every play. However, watching Adrian Peterson towards the end of the season did kind of look like a video game with the way he was running all over defenses, but... I want to see the combinations in the game, but I also want to see them take some skill and timing to really hit. I don't want to be able to just throw out spin moves and jukes randomly and have the best defenders in the league just dive at my ankles and miss. I want there to be a challenge with these combinations so that it actually feels like you earn something where you can pull off a juke into a spin and I, I, there's potential here for some really cool stuff. But you don't want something like this to take over the game because being able to do combinations and all these different moves, that's not the core of the game. Okay, four and five yards a chunk is the average for a running back. And so this can't get out of hand. I don't think it will. But, you know, I, I'm already worried. You guys know I don't like the really high, super-rated players in Ultimate Team, whether it be a legend or like the Adrian Peterson four-star. Always my favorite player, that wild card playoff card. Why does any card need to have all 99s or 100s? I don't want to see cards like that be able to do whatever they want at will because in Madden 13, they can already kind of do their own thing at will. But I hope this is balanced correctly. It looks like a cool addition. I want to see what else they have to offer, though, because running moves and combinations aren't enough for me. I want to see more. I want to see blocking AI and defensive pursuit angles and maybe they tweak some things to the blocking animations but i'm not quite sure we'll see what else they have to say guys but thanks for watching and here is the full playbook trailer let me know in the comment section what you think of these new abilities as a runner and these new moves that are going to be in the game but thanks for watching guys i'll see you later hey everybody trey wingo here to talk about what's new this year in the first video of the madden nfl 25 playbook series run free with new precision ball carrier control Doug, as a running back in the NFL, what do you need to do well in order to be successful? Well, as a running back, you need to be able to elude defenders. And if you, as a running back, if you can't do that, you're going to have a hard time in the league. So, you know, breaking tackles, defending off defenders, and, and being able to score touchdowns is definitely a key factor in, in running the ball. No question. And to elude defenders, you got to have moves. Uh -huh. And in Madden NFL 25, we've gone from 8 to over 35 ball carrier moves and combinations. So when you get into an open field, in the NFL, what are your go-to moves that you like to use? My go-to move would have to be the stiff arm. It's actually a jump cut to a stiff arm. It's a combination of moves. I do on the spin move, the spin move, I'll do like a juke to the right and then a spin move back to the left. And say I'm running down the sideline and I have a defender that's trying to catch me, like catch right. me from the side. I might want to slow down and then speed up again. When you want to pace yourself before you get to the line, you want to burst through the secondary and you know, hit that extra gear when you want to you know, score a touchdown to run past the safety. Madden NFL 25, you'll have more control than ever, allowing you to finally run free with the new precision ball carrier moves. Check out Madden NFL 25. Go for more on it. Go to easports.com slash Madden and be sure to pre-order Madden NFL 25 in stores August 27th.